And Lord S. Kane, where's your brother? And Kane said, I don't know. And my bird brother's keeper. Are you? <coughs> you watch Silk Smooth TV. Now, the reason why I say that is because of the simple fact that every time I wake up, Turn other dudes, check my emails, check the facts, or whatever have you. It always seems to be a trend of where black people are constantly killing themselves <coughs> to the point where they don't care about who else is around and why they're shooting, excuse me. And if you don't know, let me put you on. Now, last day, they, they had a bell over the, you know, holiday weekend or whatever, whatnot. And coincidentally, that bell was at a church. And young black youth decided to take it upon themselves <coughs> to start fighting at the bell. Not only did they get to fight at the bell, they got to shoot at the bell. Now, as of right now, I don't know if anybody died. I didn't read all of it. Not gonna lie to you. I know they say at least six people was hurt, including the woman that was pregnant that got trampled on the way people running up out of there. Okay? Now, this is where I have a problem. Okay? If it's to the point where. You know, and they couldn't have they had the parents there. Trust and believe that. They couldn't have the parents there. If it's to a point where you have to go, when you want to go out, okay, take your family out, do this, do that, have a good time, and all of a sudden, somebody fighting, and then shots rang out and shit, we have a problem, okay? We have a big-ass problem with our youth acting like they don't want to have a good damn time, okay? We have a problem with these parents of the youth not enforcing the law upon the ass. See what I'm saying? We have an issue of people not doing their part as far as raising their children. How you go sit up here and drop your child off at the fair? Okay? And they get to fight. And then they get to shoot. Okay? I see the pictures on Facebook. Everybody in that picture had a gun. Some had two off. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, <coughs> to me, I know y'all probably just pointing the gun, one look gangster, this, that, and the third. But to society, you are a problem. You are a threat. Okay? Because if you don't know now, let me tell you. White people look at you like you a threat. And you keep giving them a reason to look at you like you a damn threat. Okay? You want to sit up here and say, it admitted that, because they said the right that, because they got caught. But in a minute, a lot of y'all motherfuckers are going to holler about free Pookie, free such and such, free now, nah, now. Nah. Keep their ass locked the fuck up. Because if you want to sit out here and shoot <coughs> at somebody and then fuck around and, and hit other answers by standards, then your, your ass need to be locked up. What's funny is y'all motherfuckers that shit up here and sit up here and shoot at the ops, but jazz won't sit up here and shoot, you know, for your country. You won't go to war. But you want to shoot for a block that ain't even fucking your own, or for some goddamn set that the white man that got that food you had to trick it this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just like being a Christian, like being a gang member. Same damn uh the same damn brainwashing of material. It's just a different aspect. But <coughs> on y'all parents, ain't nowhere in fucking hell. You don't know <coughs> <coughs> that your child got a gun. 
Ain't nowhere in hell that you don't know. Your child doing this, your child doing that, your child smoke a weed, your child, you know, running up the street, and this, that, and the third, your child up there doing this, your child up there doing that. These streets talk, so you know what your child doing out here. You give a fuck? Obviously not, because you out here letting them rip and wrong every which way. And what's fucked up is everybody else got to deal with your damn child until your child fuck around and kill some goddamn body. Now you talking some free my child and shit. You know what I'm saying? And he's blowing at a million dollars. You can kiss my ass. Why? Because you could have had your child a check. Okay? That's all I'm saying. If It, it would have never went that way if you'd have raised your child up the right way. That's all I'm saying. So you can't get mad when the white man put his ass where he need to be. Okay? Not to talk about private prisons this than the third. But what I'm saying is that if you break the law, especially like you shooting at a motherfucker and shit, killing somebody in this then the third, then you should go to jail. I'm just being real. If you break the law in any kind of shape, form, or fashion, you know the law, you know that shit wrong. You should be able to do the time of this then the third or how how we put it. You know, everybody ain't blessed to have that certain type of privilege, okay? And that's the mind frame. That's that set that you, especially black youth, if you're listening, that you need to understand. You ain't got no privilege like every other color do. Okay? They already don't like you from the jump just because of the fact you just have the character of your skin. So, again, why would you keep them saying, see, 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 that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. But you motherfuckers want to march and shit, but you're killing your own and shit. Ain't nobody... Sit up here and protest about this shit. Ain't nobody said a goddamn thing about this shit. Okay? Nobody. Like I always say, you always holler about when the white dude killed the black dude. But you never want to say that shit when it's black on black crime. But you're sad. Because it let me know you really don't give a fuck about yourself or about other people until somebody outside your race come and kill you. That's crazy as fuck. And that's 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 the dumb ass way of living. You should be bad more at the at the person that kill your own people than anybody else. I'm just being real. I'm just being real, cause shit. Like I said, why would you be mad if you're doing it and then somebody else do the same shit? It's just like you stealing some candy and then the white person comes steal some candy. Now you want to get mad because them motherfuckers stealing the candy shit too. It's like, well, shit, you stealing your candy from your mama and shit. Well, I'm why I can't steal the candy from your mama and shit? I'm just saying. So, with that little part right there, you, you, we need to govern our church more, okay? We need to govern our, our uh, neighborhoods on some real shit. We really don't even need the police if you just get a whole group of people that's, you know, that's, that's mentally stable to the point where they can be able to talk shit out amongst our communities and shit. Because that's all we need. We just need some communication. You let stupid shit divide us for so much and for so long that it don't make no damn sense. I know, I, I know people where they different gang members, kin folks, don't even kick it with each other over a fucking color, and that shit, that shit is dumb as fuck, you know what I'm saying, both of you black, both of you was raised together, this, that, and the third, you chose red, you chose blue, I love saying y'all don't fuck with each other no more, damn, my nigga, did you forget about the times y'all was sitting up there playing PlayStation, Nintendo, since four, this, that, and the third, no fucking loyalty, no fucking loyalty, they best believe this, is this video being be done? What the motherfucker tell on themselves? And once they tell on themselves to get fucked up, they gonna dance so tell on everybody else. Why? Because niggas ain't going down by themselves no more. Like they used to be in the 60s and 70s and early 80s. No, ain't nothing on that shit no more. We going, you going too. You know what I'm saying? So... To that right there, that shit just dumb as fuck. You know what I'm saying? That shit just ended as hell. Why would you sit up there? And, you know, first you got to fight hip hop face, so that's not really one charge. Then you got the shoes, so now that's a federal charge. You know what I'm saying? Fuck around and get that capital murder. That's a rap, baby. 
<coughs> so, especially that well, man, that's probably about really 15, 20 years they facing just with this charge and the whipping. And all y'all on the age, so I know y'all ain't got no pistol for me. So, um, that, yeah, like I said, are you really your brother's keeper? Oh, oh, man, before I forget, the reason why I'm up at 4 30 in the morning, because I got this email saying that I need to check out this video, okay? And before I go any further, I done seen some. I done seen some shit in my life, all right? I have never seen no shit to how cruel and how careless and how soulless and how heartless a person could truly be until I seen that video of S Steve Stevenson shooting that elderly man in broad fucking daylight because he is mad that his old lady left him. First of all, before I go any further with this story, if you are the son of a wife, brother, sister, auntie, uncle, niece, nephew, the whole family, from the bottom of our hearts, we truly apologize, you know, for your loss. And we are uh, praying for you. And for somebody to not only take away your your family member, but to do it in a manner that it was done. That shit don't make no damn sense. How could you jump out of a car saying, yeah, this is one right here. Or whatever he said, I'm going, you know, this is one going to die. He jumped out of this car when I seen the old man, my heart just dropped. Because I thought about my granddaddy. You know what I'm saying? You know, my, you know, my granddaddy has moved on. I thought about how they would, would walk to the store, be going to the store. And that could have been them. You know what I'm saying? And that man they didn't know nothing. They didn't know nothing from nothing about your situation, this, that, and third. But you decided to take it upon yourself to end this man's life because your life was fucked up temporarily for five, ten minutes because somebody broke up with you. Now, they want to holler about mental issue and this and that and the third. I don't know. If it is, I need to document. You need to be documented, okay? And I need to see that shit. But as far as as me personally go, that shit was cold. That shit was senseless. I say that shit was calculated because of the fact that he made that statement before he jumped out that car. You see what I'm saying? And then you put it on the video, okay? Now, I pray they find this son bitch fast. You hear me? And I'm going to say this. To those who are sharing the, the video, more than you trying to share the, the, the photo of this man and what his car, you know, the car he driving, I think it's a white, uh, god damn it, I don't know, but it's a white car. He's supposed to be up there in Pennsylvania, uh, New York, uh, all up, you know, up North State. And so, um, if you sharing the video more than you sharing the all oh, this man information, then you need to get you need to go on the fuck on some goddamn well, cause that shit's not helping. Don't nobody want to see that shit. Don't nobody want to see that shit. Okay, but y'all gonna keep watching it though. Share this man shit. Get his ass captured. Okay. So again, I ask you: Are you truly your brother's keeper? YouTube.
Facebook, Twitter, Sigma Smooth TV. We out.